All right, so today we're going to talk to you about making shepherd's pie. A lot of my local farmers have had lambs throughout the summer, fatten them up for this time of year. When the weather gets cool, they go ahead and take them to slaughter. And then I've been getting a lot of lamb and figuring out different things to do with it. I've roasted the legs, I've made chops, all kinds of great things, stews. And now, just yesterday, I had the idea with this excess of celery root and making celery root puree to make a shepherd's pie using lamb and some of the other components that are naturally going with it. And instead of topping that with mashed potatoes, I'm topping it with celery root puree. So today I've got a couple of things going here. I've got a little bit of onion and garlic in a pan, sauteing till golden with a little bit of butter. And then we're going to add eggplant, lamb, roasted peppers, the last of the season that I've roasted and peeled so we can save that color for a couple of weeks, and celery root puree. So we've got here celery root puree. I cooked up celery root with cream and butter and a little bit of carrot in cubes and then peeled it. I have lamb roasted on the shoulders and pulled off the bone, roasted peppers, roasted eggplant, and then we'll probably add a little bit of feta cheese, put it into little six inch cast iron skillets and top with the puree. You can add a little bit of breadcrumb, put that in the oven until everything's bubbling and golden on top. So we we'll take the eggplant and add it to our onion and garlic mixture. Make sure to get all of that out of there. Then we're going to take the roasted peppers, add that as well. Now the lamb goes into the pan. And I've taken a little bit of a traditional component that you see so often with lamb, added a little bit of chopped rosemary into the mix, a little bit of salt and pepper and fresh thyme. Now we're just going to let that cook together for a little bit. Mix everything together so we marry these flavors. Then I'm going to add wine and stock and let that cook down just a little bit. And we'll be able to put this mixture into anything. You could do a large casserole dish and then put the celery root puree on top of everything and put that in the oven at like 350, 400 until the top starts to turn golden. And that's it. Just another quick little inspirational idea for fall. Join me next time. Who knows what we'll do.